Hey everybody, back, back opening addict. At this point, we might as well call these the booster box challenge. Cause uh, I have yet to have one that comes any is anywhere close to being below box cost. So let's do another. And I might do another, and another, and another, and another, until I finally strike out. If that ever happens. At the current price point. I don't know if uh, I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not. So let's do another one. Let's dip it on back. All right. So we're still in the hunt for the fetchies. As many fetchies as we can get our hands on. Um, most of the uh, sorry, most of the uh, expedition lands in this set are actually spiking right now. Um, the I guess you can call them crowd lands is the official name for them, but the battle bond lands. And we start off with this thieving skydiver. Crawling barons. Um, those are doing very well right now. So those have definitely jumped up and pretty much doubled in price. Then, of course, you've got the fetchies and you've got wasteland and strip mine. And then you've got... Let's see, that's a uncommon. And we got our first mythic, Emeria's Call, Foil Extended Art. Into a Maria's scattered, sorry, shattered skyclave. A lot of S's in this set. Yep. So, waste and of course ancient tome, and of course the big daddy uh, cavern souls, which you got in the last video, which was amazing. So even besides the fetchies, there's a whole lot of great pulls out of those, and they're all going up. Then there's other little cards in this set that are going up. You know, Balaget is a 250, you know, little uncommon. A lot, there are actually a few that are now which were worth very little. Now that's one that's still worth very little. And still worth very little. But a lot of the mythics and some of the better rares are slowly creeping their way up. Um, pathways are slowly creeping their way up. And Drena, the last blood chief in another mythic extended art. Okay. So that's the last slot there. That's where you get your expeditions. Uh, that's where you get your your best pulls, or in this case, eh, we'll call them average pulls. Nothing spicy, but nothing that's that's horrendous. Okay. I do love these foil lines. Those are cool. Okay, Kiri, Scourge of the Skyclays for another mythic, this time on the regular uh, design and foil. Okay, so so far we're getting some mythic hits. And Crag Crown Pathway into Timber Crown, second pathway. And the see now this is where a pack fails. So Arc Priest of Iona. Alright, let's get to the next. So, as long as I remember, after we get our first foil expedition, then I'll open one of the non-foil versions. Uh, there has been a little chatter lately that the fact that the most of the foil versions aren't worth that much more than the uh, non-foil versions. And I guess I shouldn't be surprised with the level of hate that's currently going on with foils. Okay, and Tabarax, Hope's Demise. Oops. Thieving Skydiver in the regular foil artwork. And Hellhound, Dreadworm. Ah, uh, Nahiri. This... Uh, Unfortunately, she has slowly made her way down into, even though she's in the nice extended art here, she is a bulk mythic. So we're just going to slide her off to the side there. Still mythic, still mythic. And magmatic channeler in the extended art foil. That one's okay. But okay doesn't really cut it with these. You're looking for uh, more heat than that. Okay, and once again, we're not finding any of the Balagheds. I swear those are actually a rare, disguised as an uncommon. Okay, Abundance, Inscription Ruin, Dread Worm, Territorial, okay, Pylath, okay, Akum, and Misty Rainforest Foil! Holy God! Oh, sweet God! Amazing, amazing. See? That was that was that right there? 120 bucks right now? About that? About 120 bucks. How much does this box cost? 180? Hmm, okay. Okay. 
yeah, yeah, these are these are uh, a terrible set to open. Yep, yep, yep. Horrendous, terrible decision. Awful financial idea. You're gonna get gonna get killed on these. That's uh, that's what that's what they say. Luxury suite. Okay, for that's one of the crowd lands, battle bond lands. That one's doing pretty well. This one's up over thirty bucks now. All right, that is a pretty solid one too right there. Oh yeah, yeah. I keep hoping that the magic community at large that cares about, you know, whether or not a box is worth opening, just keeps staying away from these. It's fine with me. Okay, Master of Winds, Skyclave Shade, okay, Bella the Ox, Kazandu Mammoth, Kindy Ox, and. Ah, uh, Verizal. Okay. That was a busted pack right there. But we still got what, five more left. Out. No, six more left with the one I'm opening. Okay, so we're done with half the box. You're going to get a few of those. You know, we're going to have some busted packs. That's why you buy these by the box. You don't mess around with buying a single pack off of Target shelves. Leyline Tyrant for an, in the extended art for another solid mythic. Scoot Swarm. Oh, wow. The original, the regular artwork for Scoot Swarm. That's kind of what's amazing because the regular boxes have had so few people cracking them that this is actually worth more than the special showcase. Okay. Skyclave. Spitfire. Undo Inversion Foil Extended Art. Um, I think I've commented on this before. There, at one point, there was some speculators for that card. And that's, that speculation, as of right now, is kind of petered out a little bit. I'm not surprised. It's an extremely expensive card to play in the game. Um, you know, eight cost is, is not little. So it's kind of slow, but we'll see if it ever recovers. Okay, Legion Angel, Skyclave Relic, okay, in the foil, it's a solid rare. And then you get into the two commons, Branch Loft Pathway, oh, <laughs> I just buried the lead again, I'm so bad at that. Okay, Boulder Loft Pathway, and then Spire Garden for another one of the uh, crowd lands from Battle Bond in foil. All right, not a bad hit, let's do the next box topper. You know, obviously you're going for the you're going for the fetchies, but you have to understand that you know pull rate is not 100, percent so or even 50. percent Windswept teeth, cool for another fetchy. Now that is the lowest on the fetchy totem pole, but I am happily happy happy to take this after the misty rainforest. All right, so that's two fetchies and two crowdlands. Okay. Get past the commons, rune crab. Hey, Balaged in the foil. Okay. Put that over here. Myriad construct, nobody cares. Swarm Shambler. Morog, Fury of a Coom. That's one that's gaining a little bit. Prowling Felidar and Linvala for the 10 cent extended art foil mythic or rare. So that was overall a busted pack, but again, so far, I mean, again, if we count it up, what do we got there? So Windswept Heath is 40 at this point, Spire Garden's probably 30, Sweet's 30, Misty Rainforce is 120, all this is just extra. That's why I'm opening another, and I'll probably open another, and then I'll probably open another. Emeria's Call in the non-foil version. Hey, Crag Crown Pathway in the normal artwork. Timber Crown in foil. Spitfire. Okay, getting through. The... Hey, second pathway. Bright Climb. Grim Climb. I just love the artwork on these. It's so cool looking. And Orin Reef Ooze for the wah, wah, wah. Okay, two packs left, everybody. Once again, this box has been a success, even without getting the biggest mythic hits in this set. 
I feel like that's kind of the way it goes, is that either you get the biggest mythic hits in the set, or you get good expeditions. I feel like you don't get both, so that does help keep the boxes consistent, as in it's kind of hard to get a bad box when they set it up that way. Undo Inversion, yeah, I'm not going to bother in this case. Probably Felidar. Okay, let's go Swarm. And Coral Helm Chronicler. Yeah. All right, last pack. Kind of hoping for one of the good mythics. I will gladly also take a Skyclave Apparition. It's been a while since I've seen one of those in a pack. So, let's get at it. So, I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. I know sometimes watching the same thing over and over again can get boring, but at the same time, there's a reason why I'm choosing these boxes. Maddening Cacophony. Lotus Cobra. Because the reality is, is that Kaldheim is actually crashing. Hard. Scatter Skull Charger. Shatter Skull Charger for the last of the extended art. So, not a, not a hit in the last pack, but still. You know, between the Pathways, between the, the Expeditions between some of the mythics I had, and then a pretty solid little rare pile. This is once again a solid box. Um, yeah, Kaldheim is crashing. Uh, Vorinclex in the Phyrexian uh, writing, the regular uh, Phyrexian, sorry, the regular version of the Vorinclex. Uh, the, both of those are going down a lot. Um, the foil in the Phyrexian is still stayed up. That's that's definitely, it's, a, that it, it's hard to count on that, of course. Um, Valkyries are crashing. The... Dragon is going down. Uh, Asika's holding steady, but Coma is kind of going down a little bit. So right now, Kaldenheim is not in a great place. Even, And I think it has a lot to do with the fact that there's so many cards people are building decks around. It's just getting opened like crazy. Whereas nobody is touching these because they don't so much care about these that much. So they're ignoring these. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.